Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'll be presenting some of the exchanges from my matches with Adam. I had the opportunity to fence with him during our visit to Serbia a couple of months back and then once again when they came to us in Sofia last month. We did fence with several weapons but for this video I've only selected the ones with longsword. Just to know that even though we know each other we have never really fenced before this one. In the first match I start with an Oreo's Feather, for the other ones I will be with Sigi King Shorty. Adam is with a Regene Short Feather, so our blade lengths are not too dissimilar. We had a total of 6 matches that spanned around 30 minutes overall. If you are interested in seeing the full footage, you can check the link below. During that time we had 148 exchanges that ended in a blow. I analyzed each exchange who did what, who hit what, and what would be the call. I then scored them according to our rule set and to the one used by Terza in Sword Play 2019. One of the things you will notice during these exchanges is the amount of lower opening hits that I do. This is one of my personal favorites usually, and he was not really prepared to receive so many hits at the lower openings. My other favorite thing to do is really hand hits and arm hits. The difference here between us was not too great as we both aimed at hands and arms pretty much the same amount of times and as well to the head. My torso hits were a bit more and my legs hit were a lot more than his. My purpose in recording such videos and then analyzing and scoring them is to see the trends that I am doing and then decide if there is something that I really want or need to change. Of course it's limited. It's only a few matches, only around 30 minutes of sparring, but this is a way for me to check how do I play against one certain opponent. Whenever I do something like that, I know that the way I fence of course depends on the way my opponent plays as well. Still, I find this a good way to analyze my play and perhaps get better in the future. What you will notice with Adam's play is that he's fencing extremely cleanly. He rarely tries to go for doubles or after blows just to do it. He doesn't overextend too much and keep his hands nice and close without actually losing distance and breaking his form. For my side, I'm playing a bit more extended than usually. This was basically my first matches with the CD Shorty and I'm still trying to get accustomed to it. I'm also trying to do a bit more direct counter attacks as it's something that I've been working on and this can lead to some nasty doubles. Another element of my fencing here is my attempt to stay strong in the bind, either in an almost static position or after I go in. However, this does not mean that I won't go for explosive feints and strikes going in. I'm also taking advantage of the fact that I am fencing someone with very similar height and build to mine, unlike my usually taller and stronger opponents. If you are used to seeing a lot of Spechfenstern or people staying in Langor, you may notice that this was not something that we were doing too much. Lately I'm trying to play mostly from Fontak or Albert and go into Langor only when I'm doing the attacks. Of course this can be a negative because his point is already online and prepared for me and I do have to displace it before going in. However, if we do go into ring and distance I was mostly controlling the fight as he is not that used to it. Between our matches in Serbia and after them we did have quite a long discussion and I do hope that we both try to implement some of the things we learned for our next meeting in Sofia next month. For example here you will notice that I am no longer able to get to his torso or legs that easily, although his hands are still a target. He also improved his fainting quite well, especially going for a spare to my left side. I also had the opportunity to test the pro gauntlets of a colleague of mine, while I'm waiting for mine. If you'd like to see a bit more of this video, I will link it as well. Adam also improved his counter-attacking, as while I'm still able to do some of them, not all of them go that easily. In the hole we are using here, we are a bit limited as far as distance goes, so it's a bit more straightforward and not a lot of legwork on the sides or going back and forwards. 
As all of those are friendly matches, you will see some weird stuff happening and non-optimal attacks as we are just experimenting, trying and playing around. While we do play intensely as a sparring, not all of those attacks will be at full force and full speed. We were still playing around, testing some stuff and trying to see what will happen. I really liked the way Adam was throwing the point forwards and basically breaking my shorter guards. So this is something that I'm currently working on as well, because it's something that's really useful when you're trying to get into the opening first and defend afterwards. Of course, it's not that easy to change the way you're playing in a short amount of time, and Adam was still vulnerable to my lower opening attacks, especially when he's moving back. Also, my shoe how to his face still worked, and it's something that I'm continually improving. His quick succession of cuts is something that I'm actively working to improve on my parry as well, and it happens actually quite easily with minimal movement. And still, going in, going for a grapple is something that is always useful in any sort of play. I hope you liked this video, because it was great fun fencing with Adam, and I hope to be able to do it again. See you next time.